been kind of a crazy ride for us for the last 12 months. I thought I had the flu and we went in and checked in and the doctors from Iowa Heart says, no, you're in congestive heart failure. Joe was referred to as when he had advanced heart failure. He had had kind of a uh, progressive decline um, in his heart function over the years to the point where um, he was getting sicker and being hospitalized, more short of breath. They installed a, what's called a cardio MIMS, which measures the blood pressure from the aorta into the lungs. And this is transmitted from Des Moines on a daily basis. He was able to check his pressures at home. We would uh, monitor them over the internet um, and make adjustments to his medications as needed. The MIMS picks up the sensors before I can feel them. And so uh, they can try to stay ahead of any of the medication changes for me. This is a relatively new technology, but we are increasingly utilizing these devices to uh, monitor patients from afar. The goal being obviously to delay their disease progression, keep them out of the hospital, um, minimize um, their visits and for patients who come a long ways to the med center um, it makes their quality of life better. His disease worsened and he required a mechanical heart. Um, he received one of the newer devices, a HeartMate 3. Things kind of escalated with the low flow and uh, some of the warning problems we were having with the, with the LVAD that uh, the left side was healing, but the right side was going down. Left ventricular assist devices or mechanical hearts are still um, not perfect therapies. Um, we think the newer devices um, are better than the older devices, but patients are still limited in that they have an electrical drive line. They still have to wear batteries every day. They still can have infections or complications from their pumps. So we still consider cardiac transplantation the best therapy or the gold standard for patients with advanced heart failure. Kathy was doing uh, some paperwork in the basement and a phone call came in. And they said, uh, basically jump in the car and come. Don't pack anything, don't grab anything. Uh, we'll see you here. So far he is uh, doing well. He's uh, back at home. Um, his quality of life is now much better than what it was with his heart failure. A few days after the transplant, I was climbed a full set of stairs. I feel stronger than I was before. I'm not having to carry a bunch of wires around. Mm -hmm. Things are, uh, appear that they're going well. And uh, so we're just taking one step at a time on it. All along, he was able to uh, keep his CardioMEMS device. So even with his mechanical heart and now with his transplantation, we're able to monitor um, the pressures in his heart and adjust his medicines as needed. It's kind of exciting for them because they've never seen a CardioMEMS in a person with a transplant. So we're, we're all in the learning process as to what information is it gathering and giving to them. If I had to pick one individual person for an employee of the month, I would be hard-fetched to be able to isolate it to one individual um, because everything is such a fantastic teamwork in the, the whole hospital and the departments. It's just totally unbelievable.